Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, what you do. That's why I'm fine. Spend my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Welcome to another video. This is gonna be a car tour of my Mercedes C300. His name is Spice. He is beautiful red color. And I'm gonna show the trunk first. There's a button underneath here to unlock it. And this is what the space looks like. It's not that big, but it does what I need it to do. I have this little bumper thing. I only really use this if I'm parallel parked in a really tight spot. And here in New York, I've had people scratch up my bumper on my last car. So I like to just have this just in case. And then underneath, there's a spare tire. Um, Storage. Yeah. And then here. And then I have these two bins. I got some Target. I like to have random stuff in here, like car lights, umbrella lights, and then I have another big umbrella over here, and yeah. And then over here, I have, there's these buttons here that push down the seats to give a little extra storage, that's really helpful. And then I think there's a net you can attach to this side and that side to have extra storage, and then there's the operator's manual over there and then there's also this button under here i believe if you ever somehow got stuck in the trunk you can push that and get out i think that's what it's for hope that never happens to me and then these two buttons up here i'm not sure if this is what this button does but i know there's a way to lock the trunk like if you do valet parking and want to have your trunk space locked i believe there's a way inside the car to set like a pin code but I think this button does it too, I'm not sure. But this button is how you close it back. So that's the trunk space. All right, we're gonna go into the back space, but this is where the gas pump is. There's this little notch here. You can set it to the side while you're pumping. Not too interesting there. And then this is the back seat. This is what the back looks like. Very simple. I love the way the roof looks um, from the back seat. I love how open it looks. And then you have the air and heat vents. And then in the middle, let me pull down. Two cup holders. So very simple, but I'm find it too. I, I mean, it's a comfortable amount of space to me. Yeah, I don't think it's a lot of space, but it's not a small amount of space either. And then there's some storage space right here. That's the last seat. So I want to show you guys how um, what the car looks like unlocked. But first of all, this is my key fob. I got this black case on Amazon. It's normally all silver. I have it on my Louis Vuitton Citroen key holder. But if you push and hold the unlock button, all of the windows will unlock. And then 
picture that I think is really cool. It's a little Mercedes symbol that comes out too. I mean, you can also, well, I'll show that later. But, yeah, this way. I like to keep hand sanitizer on my doors. And then on both sides, I'll show it a little bit more later, but I love how it has these features where you can adjust your seat how you like it and then save your settings, which is really convenient when my husband's driving, he can have his setting and then I don't have to reset it for mine, just push a button and it'll go back. And then this is the function for the heated seats. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but down there I have a little port for two USB charging slots. pretty much it oh yeah and in here i don't have anything super special i have this little booklet i got from amazon that has my car insurance information and such in here and then there's just a bunch of other mercedes stuff in here but that's pretty much it for this one way i like to unlock the car um i usually have my key fob in my purse you can also unlock it this way back and you just shut my hand like that. All right, now we're on the inside. So we've got the three vents up here. Big screen here. I have a screen protector on it. I got it from Amazon. And then in the middle console, there are two cup holders. I got these little rubber things from Amazon too. And then these little pieces to like grip your drink. I usually like to keep my phone down here and I have a USB-C charger in here too. And then in the middle, a little button that opens it up. I don't have too much in here. I like to keep my shades. I have a um, first aid kit. This is a little um, piece that will let me into the my building's garage, yeah. I have some little trees. Hand cream. This is an adapter piece if I want to um, use that USB-C charger for a um, burger USB charger. And then lastly, some gum. Before I forget, I wanna show you guys how the rear camera looks. So, Big view, adjust it a little bit, but it looks really, really cool. And then I also want to show you guys the Mercedes app. So there's Spice, and this wife is a lifesaver. Not that I do it often, but it has warned me if um, my doors are unlocked. I can also check if um, any windows are open. bars down here but it could show me um it could show me if anything's unlocked or open i can start the car from this app i think i can see the amount of gas i have tire pressure so i really really like this app okay we moved outside so you can see the ambient lighting better let me turn on the light um i'm gonna start the car it is 3.42 a.m. But there are different profiles you can set up if you have multiple drivers. But this is mine. You can unlock it with a pin code or your finger. And this is the main screen. Main screen. <laughs> And then I'm gonna show the ambient light. So I normally have it on my favorite, which is red. I'm gonna turn off this light in a second. I'm trying to get it to red. Okay. So this is the red. If you look, you can kind of see it here. So you have the lighting on the door, and then down by the feet. You can see it too. And then in the cup holder, 
and then also in the back seat. And also up here too. And you can pretty much set it to any color. So you can kind of see it. And then set to another color. So pretty much any color. And then you can set it to multicolor. So there are a few preset. So this is aquamarine. Let's see. It's kind of a few different shades of blue. This is chrome shine. This is Malibu sunset. A lot of cute colors. Red moon. Fresh cyan. Jungle green. So it's a lot of cool settings, but I usually like to have it just on the red. I can put it on again. There we go. And you can change the brightness and everything. During certain holidays, the home screen will have like different animations. So for Halloween, there'll be like pumpkins and stuff. So that's cute. But that's the main screen and then this car doesn't actually have a lot of physical buttons the entire climate control is on the screen here and you can sync them sync both sides of the car which love this feature because half the time me and brian don't agree whether it should be hot or cold so he can do his thing i can do mine so that's cool or you can talk to the car too which i like to use when i'm like really focused on the road so you can be like, hey Mercedes. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? I'm cold. What do you want to do? I'm cold. I'm increasing the temperature to 66 degrees. So that's cool. So that's really helpful when being that there aren't so many physical buttons, if I don't want to like, you know, try to find what I need, I can just ask the car to do what I need it to do. Also, I want to show the um, the sunroof opening up now that it's on. So up here, you can just let it do its thing. Okay, but normally I am in CarPlay like to use ways but that's what I usually like to be in okay I think that's it for the screen I'm trying to think of what else I'll use it for but you can change sure. this feature right so this screen you can change the the view I usually have it in classic kind of just has everything you need um I usually have it on the song I'm playing, which I can cycle through. You got the time, temperature. Oh yeah, another thing I like to use down here actually, I like to set what driving mode I wanna be in. I usually like to be in eco, but they also have comfort, sport, and individual. You can hear the car coming. And this feature here goes to the the car functions and this is the feature i was talking about earlier where you can lock the trunk with the pin code so that's pretty cool I haven't used it yet but back to the screen over here so you can switch it to this mode which is kind of cool it'll kind of pick up on different things that are in the road if there's someone in front of me or next to me you can see service here shows me one of my next service is there's a sport mode that's kind of cool and it also changes the color scheme on here too and then lastly understated is pretty pretty plain i guess if you like that look but like i said i usually have it in classic 
Okay. Next, let me turn on the light. I want to show you guys this. I got this from Amazon too. Super cute. And then over here, answering calls. This is the volume. You can press it to to um to mute. These functions over here, I believe, are for this screen over here. There's also a favorites menu I can pull up over here. Over here. And then over here, this is the cruise control. And then this is the gear shift right here. Let's see, I'll get a little closer. Gear shift in there. This is for the, oh, this is for the wipers. And the wiper fluid over here. And then down here, this controls the lights. Over here, that pops the trunk. And I like to keep some hand sanitizer on this side too. Okay, so up here, um, right over here is the heated seats. Got them on right now, but you can change the heat level. It also um, controls the heated um, steering wheel too. And then again, this is the different seat settings. So my husband has his setting for number two whenever he's driving. Of course, I'm number one. This is how you control the seats. Same thing as the other side, lock and unlock. This controls the windows, this locks the windows. This controls the mirrors. This will fold in the mirrors and you can fix the mirrors with this here. But that's pretty much it for this side. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Now if I wrote you a love note and made you smile at every word I wrote, what would, you do? would that make you wanna change your scene? Random fun facts. Brian helped teach me how to drive. Um, he used to have a another Acura. Check out our channel if you want to see his new Acura. But with his old Acura, he used to let me practice driving with it. Best driver, right? Mm, second to me. <laughs> you still never beat me in a driving game. Because you always cheat. Never. Okay. Never, ever. Are you okay? <laughs> it works. The green boy works. <laughs> you made it out. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my car tour this is a picture taken around this time last year that's brian's old acura and that's my old honda her name was sugar and now i have spice if you guys want to see a car tour of brian's new car you can check out one of our old videos but thank you for taking the time to watch our channel and we'll see you guys next time